Okay, I needed to make a 12 volt DC converter from AC cheaply, and if you need something better than one amp, save for a wall wart, this is the way to do it. I went to the SPCA thrift shop locally and bought this computer for five dollars. They had a 300 watt power supply inside. I took all the yellow wires coming out and that became the positive plug. You take an equal number of black wires to make your negative lug. This particular power supply down the bottom I had was a 450 watt. This one will deliver 19 amps, 19 and a half amps. This one was 10 amps. This has two 12 volt rails inside. So I've got one here, one here, put them together, that's considered being in parallel and uh, I doubled my amps or used the full 20 amps available in this power supply. Of course equal number of black wires again. I mounted one in the regular holder for the PC and the other one I kind of just drilled holes in the back where I have air intake and did that one. Come around to the front. Okay. Here you can see I took the door that opens on the front of this one and I mounted my 10 amp which I marked positive and negative and then my 20 amp. So when I pulled the door down you can see all I did was I put a couple of bolts through here and then attached the appropriate wires. I used a heavy gauge wire so I didn't lose voltage 10 gauge. And that's an easy way to make a converter. I spent five bucks because I had one laying around and bought the PC for the other and it gave me a case. So this thing will charge your car battery if you need it too. And you got a 20 amp and a 10 amp in this case. If you need more watts, then you can increase it with a bigger power supply. Just read the side and it'll tell you. One other thing a note, you gotta look at the power board inside by taking the cover off your power supply. And it'll tell you on the pinout that one of them is PON for power on. That's a green wire in most cases. That's this guy here. And that has to be connected to a black wire too, which I did here. That tricks the PC power supply into thinking that it's connected to a motherboard. Did the same thing with the top one. Green wire to one black. Doesn't matter which black, any black. And as soon as you plug it in and turn it on, you've got your juice. This will power your RC, if you got the uh, remote control boats or cars, anything that needs a 12 volt source.